Hey everyone, my name is Sarah Benick, and today we will be learning how to construct a bow tie. I'll take you through the step-by-step -step process and show you the ending result. Now let's get started. To make your bow tie, you will need some simple tools including a ruler, a marker, elastic, possibly pins and needles, a material of your choice, and I chose this one because I really like the floral print and the off-white color. You may or may not use a glue gun, and of course, some scissors and threading of your choice. To start things off, we will measure and cut the bow tie. Today's bow tie will be five and a half by six inches. It's up to you. You can add or take away some inches. When you're done measuring your bow tie, make sure you save about an inch and a half wide strip of material to go around the center of your bow tie in the end. The next thing we're gonna do is fold this piece in half, and the five and a half inches are on this side, and the six are on this side. And then we are going to move to the sewing machine. And so each edge leaving about an inch and a half on one edge, that way you can flip it back inside out. Let's go ahead and trim around the edges. Now that we've got all three sides trimmed, it's time to turn it inside out. I usually take a marker or a pencil or anything that I can kind of push the edges out with so that way we can get a nice clean shape. Next we are going to hand sew that open slot and my material is a little bit hard to work with so I had to pin down some of it but your material might be a little bit easier to work with. Now that we've got all three sides sewn, we're gonna take the piece of material we cut out for the center and fold the edges inwards and sew along those edges. Now that we've got both of these sewn, it's time to attach the center of the bow tie. In order to do that, you're gonna wanna crinkle your bow tie into the shape you prefer. And I usually just pick up the center and press down on the sides. And you can either use it this way to where there's two creases in it or flip it around if you just want one crease. And I just prefer it like this. And then you're going to take your center and wrap it around and secure it with the glue gun. What I went ahead and did was just took my elastic and measured it around my neck to get a good size. And um, you can go ahead and mark it and then just get your hot glue gun and kind of dab it in the back so it stays in place. You can go ahead and hand sew the part that's attached. Finally, we attach the elastic to the back of the bow tie. Tie. You could have either used elastic, a clip, or an adjustable strap. If you chose to use elastic, you could either use it as a bow tie or a headband. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you out, and thank you for watching. 